Hi, just a quick follow-up on this JBL Charge 3 uh, speaker. Just putting it back together after the repair, um, the Harold Holt uh, repair of this thing. And uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, put the end caps on and let's... I don't know how this goes. Does it go like that? Does it go like that? Yeah, must clip in like that. Let me go. Let's... Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, and there we go, and it seals over that because that's sort of like the waterproof, even though there's no... Oh, there's a... is it rubber on the end there? I can't... oh yeah, yeah, there you go. So rubber around there, so this is just the passive radiator, uh, of course. And this is how they seal it up, and just putting it back together, and it's... I have actually tested it, and it does actually seem to seem to work so spoiler alert uh is that i think that's yeah i think that's on and uh let's go how does this go on like that this is a foldy clippy thing and oh okay uh oh oh i should have put that on first okay oops um <laughs> yeah I'm a noob, I won't get the uh, job at the JBL factory. Um, those screws are under those plastic clips. Bugger it, I'll get back to you. Well, that's thoroughly weird. I don't know how those clips work. <laughs> I'd have to look back at my original video. But anyway, uh, I think she's going to go back over the top here. Maybe. Come on. It's got it. Yeah folds like that and whoop it's it's already on and what look at that bobby dazzler like i bought one it's back together there you go so you heard that it was was on there and listen no farty sound from the speaker. So if I actually uh, play up, oh, multimeter's fallen over. Waterproof speaker. There you and, go. Uh, these are really cool bits of kit. JBL pretty much own the waterproof and uh, speaker. Works market. a treat. And, uh, so an older model. I think they're now up to the charge. Yeah, exactly like it was on when it was powered up on the bench. And of course, it was powered from the battery on uh, the bench. So uh, a few people said in the comments of the. Uh, uh, repair video of this that um, it was the battery like the the ba battery's gone and it's the impedance of the battery that and it's low dropout at uh, when when this, this power up demo here is is really designed to show the low bass on this thing like demonstrate the really you know the thumping bass on it um, it's, it's like a demo and then that particular you know resonant uh, point caused it uh, you know, it was really excessively draining the battery and the ESR of the battery couldn't provide uh, enough juice, even though it's going through a DC uh, DC converter there and it's dropping out and maybe it was uh, the DC to DC converter oscillating or something when it's, you know, dropping out or something uh, of that order. But that doesn't explain why it was extremely consistent. It can, did it absolutely every time I powered it off and on. It did it dozens of times um, off uh, camera. Uh, before I tore it down and every time it did it but it's only when I tore the thing down and then powered it on the bench from that same battery internally it wasn't powering it from bench supply from the same battery it didn't do it um, it's so yeah I'm one of my first thoughts was that maybe like um, a bad solder joint in one of the speakers and that particular resonant frequency was like causing the you know a dry joint on the speaker to vibrate so i did actually uh, unsolder um the speaker to actually get the physically get the thing out so maybe but i yeah i don't know uh, thoughts and comments down below but yeah no as far as i'm concerned that's definitely uh repaired and i was playing it at large volume before and it was just fine but it consistently, yep, it, no, no more fart noise. It's, um, yeah, this has got old micro uh, USB. Full the latest volume USB. going up. Uh, seeing you can charge your shoe phone from it. And uh, it's got a, a built-in battery. It's got oh. uh, two passive uh, radiators yeah, on the side. And I do believe there's dual really uh, loud. Uh, high throw, and um, that works wide range just. In there. It's got a rubber baby buggy bumper on the bottom. So Yeah, so that thing works a treat.
play. Work, and it sounds pretty good, but pause. Like, wait, there we go. So that's repaired. Um, I don't know how I did it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's the battery issue. Uh, because yeah, as I said, extremely consistent before the teardown and now uh, during the repair after it was torn down now back together seems to work just fine so i can only assume that it was some connection thing dry joint on the speaker i don't know something like that perhaps that was only occurring at some resonant point of when you know the speaker vibrates at you know and you hit a resonant point of the wire or something like that in there and you know a physical thing like that but in a way fixed just by taking it apart and putting it back together. I, I don't like those ones. I hate them. Like, I hate not knowing. This has happened in the industry before when I've tried to repair stuff. And it's just like, I hate it when I don't actually find the fault. But what can you do? You know, I'm not going to spend <laughs> 50 hours on the thing trying to, you know, uh, recreate the fault somehow. And you might never be able to. So, yeah, I until it fails again, like consistently, nothing I can do. So, Anyway, I'm going to consider that a Bobby Dazzler repair. Catch you next time.